Hey guys, this is Manak, and today we'll see how to design a slab. So to design a slab, uh, you can use various various softwares and also do manual calculation. But uh, one of the ways which is commonly practiced is using the Excel sheets. So you can find various Excel sheets. You can pay for the Excel sheets. There are uh, customized Excel sheets available, and they are you know free ones as well. You can download one suitable Excel sheet, or you can make your own program uh, using the uh, you know textbook problems uh, so that you can design slabs. Okay, so basically, firstly, what you have to do, you have to mark all the, uh, you know, the long span and short span for all the slabs here, and after that, you can perform the, uh, you know, calculation. So I have the, prepared just an Excel file here, uh, for the long span and short span of the ten slabs which are of this particular building, and this is LX by four and LY by four. So why uh, LX by four and LY by four? So uh, for the extra top bars, you to, to do the detailing, you can see that the extra top bar detailing looks like something like this. So for if if we have you know uh, this uh, an external part that is the beams uh, slabs are discontinuous then uh, we have to do L, L by four and if it is continuous for example for this this case we can do L by three so for the internal slab in this direction we can do L by three and in this direction uh, we have to do L by four so but and it but it's preferred that you uh, just to give the uh, length of the top bar same in both the directions. So that it is, uh, you know, easier for you know BBS and other calculations also. So taking all this into consideration, we have to uh, design here, and you can see the this is the type where you know the crank bar is used, okay, and uh, you know you have the top bar going like this, top bar going like this. This is the top direction, and B as you can see in this particular drawing here, but it is to B is in this direction. So one is in the horizontal direction, and one is in the uh, vertical direction. So both in the horizontal vertical we have along two two sides and this also we have along two sides. So effectively if in the drawing the spacing is 200 mm then actually the spacing will be 100 mm because there are you know two ways. One bar is placed this way, one bar is placed this way. That's why it is 200 mm. Effectively it will be 100 mm. So if in the design if your design comes 100 then you will write in the table here 200 and you can give a section of the beam here. Okay, so let's design a particular beam here. I'm uh, sorry, slab here. So this is the uh, S1 here. So for the S1, as you can see, uh, this is the size here 3.86 and 3.445. So I'll just open the Excel sheet and the long span here is 3.86, 3.86 meter and the short span is 3.445. So let's give 3.5. Okay. 3.5 so it's a two-way slab and uh, here you can just adjust the parameters for example slab thickness obviously i want to give 150 and 150 is slave in deflection and uh, yeah 150 mm and our target to keep this one mm. okay this is uh, let's let's try 125 mm so 125 mm slab here is safe now let's see what the ht so this is uh, this is the support condition. So one is discontinuous. So there are it is an L on the edge, so it will two edge discontinuous. So if you just see the slab here, this one, this end is discontinuous and this end is discontinuous. So there are two ends discontinuous. So if you select the support condition here, and uh, then uh, the bars required re HT, you can see the provided HT, you can see the dio bar. Uh, if you want to do 10 m, I'll keep 10 mm. 10 mm is better, but if you want to give eight, let's see. Uh, for the 8 mm bars, what is the there? For the 8 mm bars, spacing you can see required. We just uh, provided HD spacing. If we just do change this, let's uh, change this to 150. We do everything as 150. So along longer direction and uh, 150, 150, 150, even if you do like uh, 200, then also it will pass. But 200, it is, so let's do 175 for all because uh, 175, 125, and 175. So you can do 175 here for all, uh, 8M bars, 175 spacing, uh, we can provide here, okay? Uh, for this, so the loads are here. You can see the default, you know, dead loads and live loads and core finishes all are taken into consideration. There is safe in deflection, and here we can go ahead. Okay, so then what we do, we just uh, go into the plan and we make the drawing. So, 
So to make the drawing, let me just show you. So we'll take a line here to represent this. Okay. So first of all, we'll take up to this much. Okay. Turn the ortho on, and then we'll see. Uh, so this this we are doing along the, uh, you know, along the shorter span. Okay. So along the shorter span we are doing. So what is the shorter span, and uh, what is the L by four? So along the shorter span, L Y. Okay. L Y by four is one point something. Uh, so eight point point eight six. So let's just do point nine. Okay. Here let's just do point nine. So here this is drawing is in mm so we'll do 900 okay and then we'll give a uh, this this is actually 0. 0.42d so we'll give the this uh, you know for the representation of this we'll just give it we'll turn the ortho back on and this is the case here so here we can just show the dimension here for this 900 this is the dimension which has been shown here and then uh, it will be similar along the other end as well so again just take take from here and go up to here and then go 900 and then turn the ortho off for a second and then turn the ortho back on so this is these are the two bars in the horizontal direction. Okay, so this is also nine hundred. So like this. So now for this direction, so let's check what is the length here. L x by four is three point four four five, and it is point nine six five. So we can do uh, one thousand, right? So here we'll just do start from here up to here and 1000 okay so to represent this just turn off the ortho for some time and now we can represent this okay just uh, so we'll take the line take the line just for this one we'll just take a little bit left side out the back on. So it is lagging a bit, no problem. Okay, and do it like this. So this we'll just mark this as one thousand. Similarly, we just do another one here. Let's start from here to here, and then one thousand. So now this crank we given in this direction just to show represent it better. Just giving it <coughs> in another direction. Okay. And turn back the ortho here. We stand somewhere in the middle. And then we'll just show the dimension here. Okay. So this is done. And now we can show the uh, shorter section here. Okay. This is a default shorter section you can show here. You can see you can have the notes here. Uh, and distribution bars also by default. Now slab thickness is 125 mm. And bar details is your 80 at the rate 175 for the bar along span one. Okay, bar one, and this is also the same 80 at the rate 175. So you can have multiple numbers here. Now what we need to do? We need to mark this. So I just uh, uh, I copy this markings from here A and and B. Okay, I just copy and uh, I can create this just for showing you. Copy and paste this. So we can choose which to call as A and which to call as B. So I'll call the horizontal as A and the vertical as B. So this is A and this will also be A. I'm just turning on off the also for for a bit. This is also A and this is B. Uh, okay, B is better represented sideways, right? So I should like rotate this. Except the sign I have to rotate, right? Or is this double click and edit the block?
So the sign. So except in the numerical, I wrote it. Then paste the B here and the center. And give it like this. Save the changes. So this is done like this. So another thing uh, which I missed that it if the spacing is 175 mm for this 8 mm bar, it will be 175 into 2. Okay. So if you want to give 150 mm, then the spacing should be 300 mm. Okay. And if you want to give one uh, 175 mm, then the spacing will be 350 mm. So effectively the spacing will be 175 mm center to center here. Okay. So just to do this, 80 at the rate of 350 center to center. So it becomes, you know, 175 mm center to center by default because it is placed alternatively. Okay. So there were some things which I came, that's why I paused and deleted those. Okay. So like this, you can place and then you can just uh, give a number or name to it as well. Like, for example, if you want to just name this slab here in the slab let's name this as s1 okay s1 you can even do a circle around this as well okay s1 right okay so this is s1 so the design of s1 is this one so so s1 is this one so then you can uh, give different design for different slabs like this for all the ten slabs you design individually and then draft and make the drawings here. So like this, you can detail the slab, which can be easily executed at this site. That's all. Keep learning. Bye-bye.